that Tampa like weather at least. We stole that from them. Taking a bite out of that loss. Yeah, definitely beautiful weather out there. 73 right now in the park after going up to 77 this afternoon. Cooling off into the 60s right now on Long Island with that cooling sea breeze off of the waters of the Atlantic. 77 right now still in Sussex, about 70 down the shore of Delmar. You combine numbers in the 70s with a lot of sunshine and more importantly with low humidity and that's why it felt so just absolutely gorgeous out there today and a fine afternoon will turn into an excellent evening we're talking about numbers falling down into the upper 60s by 10 p.m down to about 66 by midnight a nearly calm wind out there under clear skies and with the clear skies and the nearly calm wind we're going to be talking about suburban areas falling down into the 50s maybe even some upper 40s well north and west of new york city up toward the poconos and the catskills tomorrow if anything a few degrees warmer Warmer than today, we're talking about a high of 79 in the city, more like lower 80s north and west. Middle to upper 70s on Long Island, upper 70s in a place like Bridgeport, Connecticut. This nice weather cannot last forever, of course. Tuesday doesn't look terrible. Could be a shower late in the day, but those rain chances go up significantly. Middle to even latter part of the week, we'll detail that. Plus, we'll take you right through next weekend. And your AccuWeather mm-hmm. seven-day forecast coming up, Mike. We'll see you in a bit, Jeff. Thank you. Some new details and a deadly hit and run mm-hmm. in the Bronx. A Chevy SUV t a Toyota Camry with TLC plates early this morning. Happened at the corner of 168th Street and Webster Avenue in the more senior section. The driver of the Camry, 45-year-old Robert Mm. Godwin of Queens, died. Police say the driver of the SUV Mm. jumped out of that vehicle and then ran away. Police are still looking for the driver. Mm. Two mass shootings overnight, leaving several people dead and dozens more injured. One in Tennessee, the other in a popular entertainment district in Philadelphia. Police say there were several Mm. shooters who opened fire. ABC's Faith Abube has more on what happened and now the search for the shooters. Three people were killed and at least a dozen others were injured when gunfire rang out on Philadelphia's popular South Street, according to police. Yesterday was a dark day for Philadelphia. And while many of us were out enjoying the beautiful day in the city, uh, a horrendous and unthinkable acts happened in a very popular local and tourist hangout. Hundreds of people were gathered when just before midnight, Police say several shooters began firing. Police say an officer fired back at a gunman who then dropped his weapon and fled the scene. There are at least two guns that have been recovered from the scene, one with an extended magazine. Also overnight, police say three people were killed when gunfire erupted in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Three fatalities have been confirmed two of which are related to gunshot wounds and one of which is related to injuries sustained after being struck by a vehicle. These two incidents, just the latest in a string of mass shootings. Ten black people were killed at a supermarket in Buffalo, New York. Nineteen children and two teachers were killed at an elementary school in Uvalde, Texas. And early Saturday in Phoenix, a shooting at a strip mall. One hundred people gathered for an apparent party, nine of them wounded. A 14-year-old girl killed. The research group Gun Violence Archive tallying 239 mass shootings so far this year. Many now calling on lawmakers to do something. Democratic Senator Chris Murphy telling CNN he believes Congress is closer than ever before to reaching an agreement on gun reform. I've never been part of negotiations as serious as these. There are more Republicans at the table talking about changing our gun laws. Parents of victims and survivors of the mass shootings in Buffalo and Uvalde will appear before a House committee on Capitol Hill next week in an effort to stress the devastation brought on by gun violence. Faith Abube, ABC News, Washington. Now to the latest mm-hmm. from the deadly school massacre in Texas where another child was laid to rest. A funeral held today for 10-year-old Alethea Ramirez. Alethea was a budding artist who dreamed of attending art school in Paris. Just last year, she won a contest for an anti-bullying poster she designed. Alethea was among the 21 people killed when a gunman stormed Robb Elementary School last month. Firefighters mm-hmm. battling a blaze in Canarsie, Brooklyn, and Citizen App video showing the smoke rising from the structure on Rockaway Parkway between Glenwood Road and Conklin Avenue. So far, we are not hearing any reports of injuries. Well, the pandemic has forced so many events to be canceled or put on hold, and today one returned in Queens.